hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so today i'm going to show you how to uh, how to give different footstep sounds based on the surface type that we are stepping on for now uh, here this is a wood surface and this is the land the normal soil or grass and this is something like a water or muddy surface and here this is a rocky surface so this is the demonstration now this is uh, the normal surface so you will get the normal generic footstep sound and this area is rocky surface so this is the rock surface footstep sound and this gray, this brown area is muddy surface somewhat like a water sound I have put only for demonstration purposes and this is the wooden surface so yeah that's the demonstration alright that's what I'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so first i have a couple of uh, different layers in my landscape this is like a rock layer and this is like a mud layer and this is a grass layer or soil so first i'll create some physical materials i'll create uh, folder under materials uh, called physical materials and here I'll create new physical material mm -mm, where are they here right select and I'll name it uh, P no I'll call them PM for physical material PM grass or should I say I'll call it land so this is like a generic land and I'll duplicate that and the next thing is physical material what else hmm rock and pm wood and pm maybe water okay that's enough for the demonstration purposes right then I'm going to assign this well I am not going to change any settings here we have some physical physics based settings but like friction but I am going to I am not going to worry about them now so yeah now here I am going to assign for this auto layer well for the auto layer I can't assign I'll assign the generic or the PM land physical material and for the other layers so this one is L1 and that is rock layer so I'll assign rock and what is the other layer this is the mud layer L3 here I'll assign water and yeah this one l3 well actually that is also grass uh, so i could assign the land right and for this one also well even if i didn't assign one i'll implement in such a way that if i haven't get any trace result physical materials then i'll assign some default sound i'll do it when I do the implementation right now I'll uh, for testing purposes I'll add some of the layers for testing purposes so first 
I'll remove grass in this area. This is the test ground for us. Okay, now grass. And now I'll add some rock layer. Like this. So this is rocky area and some mud area like this and some well I have already have the grass area so this two would be sufficient right and also I should have removed grass removed grass in these areas but I haven't done that well that's a problem for another day right now now let's see how to get the physical material that I step on so for that I'll open my human character and I think you already familiar with my setup so here under sounds and effects I have created this footstep this footstep event uh, which I have defined in my BPI character blueprint and I'm calling this event from uh, my animation blueprint I'll show that as well just in case you haven't followed that part right here under uh, yeah this footstep L and footstep R so these are animation notifiers which I have added for my walking running and sprinting animations and I'm when I when those any events are fired I'm calling this footstep event which is this one through the interface if you don't sure how did I implemented that you can refer to previous videos which I have added footstep sounds right today I'm not going to explain them in detail right now here well I'm just playing this generic sound cue this one at the moment whenever I get a footstep so today instead of doing that I have to yeah I have to uh, determine which sound clip I should play based on the physical material of the surface that I'm stepping on so here I have imported few different sound clips so this is for water or muddy surface uh, actually this is the good better sound I could find and this is for wooden surfaces and this is for rocky surfaces well that would be enough for the demonstration right now I need to yeah I need to do this line trace by channel I think yeah well, like yeah this is how I'm going to determine the physical material that I'm stepping on so for the starting point I can get the my foot location get socket location and this for this input socket name well I do a select and plug this so if this is the and yeah if this is the left one that means it should be true I should give the left foot bone name if this is the right bone right foot step then I should give the right bone name 
so here I have defined that whether it is left or right actually it doesn't matter much at this point anyway I'll do that too so what is the name of the bone let's check in the skeleton and here left foot and right foot yeah left foot and right foot I'll copy this this is true for the left therefore true for the left and false for the right left foot and right foot right now mm, plus because I have to start this a little above my foot's my foot location and trace down a little below to the foot location so therefore I'll do it like this the starting location I'll increase the height by let's say 20 units and end location by minus 20 and plug here and here I'll draw a debug type for one frame so that I can see it clearly and I'll use the camera channel and compile let me further quickly check if my traces are working Are they working? I think I should. Uh, this one frame is not enough. Yeah, they are working. Okay. Now, here. Uh, well, first I recombine it. So we have this out hit results and let's do a branch here so only if I have a valid hit that means if this is true I'll split this and here I can get the out hit physical material so I can do a select not like that select based on this uh, no and here using this physical material I can get this property surface type so let's print this and see what we get as we step on different materials Yeah, we get default and always default. Well, why is that? Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, let's do, try this. Let's add a new cube here. Like this. And and let's add uh, PM rock to this one uh, maybe I'll add a suitable material what about this yeah I think I should add PM instead of rock PM wood because this looks more like a wood and let's check again default and still default why is that yeah actually I forgot one thing I have to define surface types in settings under physics it should be yeah here well what are the materials land rock water wood yeah land 
rock mm, wait yeah once your name is type they will show up as surface type in the physical material water wood okay save and let's open this again yeah here yeah, i can select uh, wait a minute still i don't see them why not do i have to apply yeah actually i had to restart the editor now they are i can see them the surface types here so for the land I'll assign land and for the rock I'll assign rock and for the water I'll assign water and for the wood I'll assign wood right now I should be able to see different surface types as I step on different physical materials let's check it now yeah now I get land and water and rock yeah now it is working and here wood right it is working now but the sound is still same because I haven't done any changes for the sound so let's take some room here yeah now I'm going to select this sound based on this surface type yeah now this is the default and this is land this is rock and this is water and this is wood so let me assign them for the here whereas the yeah this is the default one so I'll assign that for the default and also for the land I'm going to use the same thing and for the rock I'm going to use this one this one for the rock and this one for the wood and this one for the water so let's get the water one and drop it here and the uh, wood drop it here and the uh, rock drop it here right now everything should be okay let's check yeah yeah actually that uh, mud sound is a little bit too much but I only want to demonstrate that here yeah now I think you get the idea and that's all I am going to do for today and in the next episode let's continue to work on these uh, well combat system or striding and everything I haven't thought about what exactly to do tomorrow and if you want to support my work you can join my patreon club here I'll put the link in the description below and thank you very much see you in the next episode goodbye